Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. It's always nice to sew with you. Today I'm going to take leftovers and I'm going to see what I can make out of all the little pieces left over from my recent quilt blocks. Let's get started. I had a lot of half square triangles left over from making some X blocks that I have been making recently. The larger block especially I was able to harvest some half square triangles and what I did is I just clipped the dog ears off of the corners and then I put the stack of half square triangles next to me. Now remember they're all a, just a little bit different in size. I wasn't exact when I made these. So I started sewing them together in twos. After getting some like-sized half-square triangles together in twos, I started putting them together in rows of four. And some of my rows are longer than other rows just because of the size of the half-square triangles. So I had some really tiny half-square triangles that I was able to add on the end of a couple of those shorter rows. Now this is just a fun project. The seams don't have to match. It's just a sort of a no thinking kind of sewing adventure. I call it an adventure because I really don't know how it's going to turn out. And at this point, I didn't know exactly what I'd be making. After I had some rows together, I put the, um, the rows all together. I got four rows and I wasn't sure of the size. I had actually thought it would be a pot holder, but after pressing it and looking at it, I thought it would be just the perfect size for a little zipper pouch. I straightened up the edges. I didn't worry about where the points were or where the seams were. I just wanted the edges to be straight. And I found a really cute little piece of fabric for the lining of my zipper bag. I found a zipper. I have a little supply of zippers and this one matches well enough, I think. And I'm going to make a little zipper pouch. I have a video on a five minute zipper bag that you can refer to if I don't give you enough information here, but I'm going to put right sides together with the zipper in the middle. After adding a, a seam with the zipper, I opened it up and top stitched and now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, right sides together with the zipper in the middle there. I will open it up and do another top stitch next to the zipper and then also up the sides, leaving an opening so I can turn it right side out.
here's my little zipper bag just using the leftovers and I didn't have to trim anything I, even those little tiny triangles are showing up there by the zipper I think it's really cute this is not everybody's um, favorite way to sew but I really like the adventure of seeing how all of my little pieces are going to fit together and what might come out of that I had just a few more half square triangles still left so I thought I'd put those together and show you one more idea of what you could do with your leftovers after making a quilt block. Again, my little piece of fabric here, my little patchwork piece is not square and the triangles are not matching up completely. So I just trimmed it square and I'm going to make a little mug rug out of this, the, all these little half square triangles that are left over from my X block. I have a little piece of batting. I have some backing that I cut just a little bit bigger than my quilt block. And my batting is just a little bit smaller than my quilt block. What I like to do first when I'm making these little um, mug rugs is I like to add a large basting stitch to hold the batting in place. Since I will not be quilting this little project, I add two stitches with a large basting stitch that I'll remove later. This just holds my batting in place. Then I have to remember to put my stitch length back to the normal stitch length and I'm going to put right sides together. I'll stitch all the way around this little mug rug. I'll leave an opening and then I will turn it right side out and for something this small it's not necessary to quilt it of course you could add quilting stitches but i will not be doing that with this little mug rug after stitching around the outside of the mug rug i top stitched all the way around i took out my basting stitches they come out usually pretty quickly and that was all there was to this little cute project. Making something out of nothing is one of my favorite things to do in my sewing room. I love the adventure of sewing things together, not sure how they're going to come out. Of course, it's always nice to have things match up, but I do like the adventure of sewing things together and seeing what I get. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.